Um, next one, I'll say this is just the electric or um, well, the cool box. Uh, I was tempted to put a, a Waco compressor fridge in, uh, but I just couldn't afford it really. It's the, it's the price of them really, they're around about 300 to 400 pounds. The next thing I was looking at was a freeway fridge, which is uh, gas, 12 volt electric, and mains. They work really well actually, but um, it's this it's a space problem with them. They're quite big units and um, more of a chest kind of style fridge size, and they just won't fit in the van very well. What I went for in the end was this um, it's a cool box from Halkford. I was looking at Waco cool boxes. Uh, which seemed better in some regards. You could, you could turn them down at night so they ran a bit quieter. Uh, but the Halfords gave really good reviews on how cold they get to. What I've done is I've, I've put it in here and I've fitted all around it uh, 50 mil Celitex house insulation. And, and then I've actually filled around it with expanding foam and kind of boxed it all in. So it's absolutely solidly in there and it just adds uh, quite a lot of insulation and um, probably a couple of inches either side really. So it just makes it really efficient if you get frozen stuff in there it, it does last for days uh, like I say it runs off electric it's 12 volts it does draw four amps so um, it will eventually flatten the battery unfortunately but um, you can like I say normally have it for, on for most of the day with, without any big issues uh, I've also got some extractor fans I put in the back which just take the heat out because um, it's quite well, well sealed at the front which is quite nice because it keeps the, the noise down if you leave it switched on at night uh, but obviously it gets very hot in there so um, it kind of just takes the heat out from that really. Um, just going to uh, see how well the fridge works, it's a horrendously hot day today. Um, it's just as hot outside as, in this, as inside the van, I mean it's not been sat in the sun or anything, it's, uh, the door's been open for a while now and it's genuinely, um, this is as advanced as my, um, my thermometer goes but we're looking about 28 29 degrees which is uh, far too hot for me so um, I'm feeling pretty uh, lethargic but I'm um, gonna make my way up to um, uh, the place now to get a bit of footage of the van and then uh, just head down to um, just head down to the uh, the location um, I'm gonna test the fridge um, well what fridge sorry cool box um, they say that it will go around about 15 degrees colder than um, ambient so it should only be getting to like 13 degrees or something today but um, I've actually filled it out with insulation um, as you can see inside all around the actual uh, unit with some extractor fans in the back so um, just want to see if it makes any difference see if we can get uh, a lot cooler uh, there's nothing in the fridge it's not been used um, or the cool box sorry not been used for probably about a week now so it's um, exactly the same temperature inside as it is outside so um, and it's only going to have about half an hour on the way up there to cool so it's not going to have a great deal of time to cool down so um, we'll see how efficient it is I'll probably leave it on when I'm up there when I go and take the pictures come back see uh, if it gets any colder so um, yeah I'll uh, see you up there I've just got up to Dartmoor now, it was only, um, like I say, half an hour journey really. I'm going to go for a walk and take some pictures any minute. I just want to have a quick look and um, see how cold the cool box has got. Um, it has dropped slightly, I've been driving with the windows open and it is about half an hour before sun sunset. So it's just got a tiny bit colder from that really, the wind blowing for it. It's still showing about 26 degrees on the thermometer. So it's um, still pretty, uh, pretty hot really. So. Um, I'm just going to um, have a look on this one. This one's showing uh, about the same on that, really. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually just pull this off, put it in the fridge, um, and just see how cold it's got already. So I'll uh, come back in a minute. Right, um, 
It's only been in there for like literally two minutes, so um, I'm gonna have a quick look now to see how cold it's got. Um, like I say, it's only this fridge is only or this core box only been on for um, probably like half an hour or something, so it's not gonna be crazy in there yet. But um, right, we're looking about 15 degrees, so um, it's took about 10, I'd say about 10 or 11 off it at the moment from earlier. So. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll leave this out again. I'm going to go and take some pictures, check the temperature when we get back, and then I'll put it back in there for a bit longer and see um, see how much colder it gets. And with it being on for you know about an hour and a bit, so give it a bit more of a proper test. Actually back home now. Um, just going to look at the cool box to see how cold it has got. Um, still quite warm. It's uh, about say half ten or something like that now. And um, you can see it's still. Uh, I can pick it up on here, but it's still about 25 degrees. So um, still pretty warm. Um, been on for about uh, probably an hour and a half now, something like that, I'd say. Um, maybe a bit longer, maybe even two hours. So, should have a, a good representation of how, how well it works now. So, um, just going to put this in here for um, in the cool box for about five minutes, see how cold it gets, and then uh, we'll just see how well it works. Right, it's been in there for about five minutes now, so uh, we'll just see how cold it's gone. Right, there you go, it's not too bad. I say that's uh, quite a success actually. It's gone down to about five degrees, so um, yeah, it's not too bad at all. Really. It's gone from 25 to 5, so it's dropping about 20 degrees in there, so um, it does seem to work quite well actually. Like I say, it's a, it's a Halford's. Um, cool box and they're not expensive and I've just uh, basically insulated all the way around it and um, put these fans in the back uh, just to let the heat out um, yeah I'm quite uh, impressed with that actually myself so um, they do work uh, I wouldn't recommend them in a really hot country but if uh, anywhere up to about 25 degrees it's gonna give you cold enough um, kind of near in an actual fridge so uh, um, draw about four amps, so um, that's the only thing to keep in mind with them. Um, uh, they will 